Don't have the lights turned off because I need new batteries. Save them up for um, live at three today. Maybe. I don't know if I even have enough, but it's all right. We'll be all right without lights. But we have, woo, I found my bells. <laughs> and I found my bag of beautiful cotton. So I have more fiber. Today's daily fiber. But right now we have happy mail. <laughs> Squealing squirrel mail is what I call my happy mail. And it is from Miss Kim Thompson. You probably know her as the Crafty Nomad. Kim is wonderful. She and that Christy. I love those girls individually and when they do, um, they do, a, what is it called? Hook and Stitch Live. I think it's once a month. And I wish I could tell you when. I should be able to, but I just <laughs> I have my alarm set for every Saturday and just check. <laughs> I'm sure they have like the third or fourth Saturday or whatever it is. But look what I won. And they and Kim and Christy both individually and together do lots of little giveaways. I thought this was the right big giveaway. She gave me her sips by. It is a... I thought I was done getting tape off. It's a subscription box for tea. And hey, what goes better with fiber arts than tea? Enjoy your teas. I will. Thank you, Kim. And these are the ones for June. It even tells you on the back what's what. And it says made especially for Kimberly because this is her subscription box. But we have, oh, we got cookies. No, it's tea. Salted caramel cookie sips by cookie tea. And it tells you how to fix it. And this is low caffeine. It says a hint of salt complements the layered flavors of caramel and cocoa butter for a unique treat. Perfect balance of sweet and savory for days when you're feeling a little salty. <laughs> and it has the directions also on the packet, which is good. And then it tells me I've got an antioxidant tea. Looks like there's two of them. This one does have caffeine, yay. And it says the anti antioxidant tea formula has been designed by qualified TCM doctors in Australia. What is a TCM doctor? I don't know. T, first name, but I'm not sure about the other stuff. And it says, for best results, your tea recommends drinking two tea bags per day for four weeks. Actually, there's more than that. There's three. I, oh, nope, there's four. So, for two days, two tea bags. If I do that, I may just have one per day. That's cute. And then, what does it say? Ascent Steep Echo. And there's four of these. Cool, I'm so excited to try. Caffeine free, though. Oh, I might have to jazz it up with some black tea. <laughs> it says, it's a refreshing blend of antioxidant-rich organic olive leaves grown and hand-harvested from Bell Lavaro Orchard. Mingled with cinnamon and a smooth touch of vanilla and monk fruit. Cool, cool, cool. And the next one says Moroccan Mint. I wonder if that's this one. Yep. Moroccan Mint. I love that. <laughs> I love the packaging. Isn't that cute? And on all these it has, you know, how to fix it, how to steep. 
It says it's the traditional drink of friendship and hospitality. The Steep Society invites you to join us in sharing a cup of this fresh, bright blend with the sharp spearmint flavor. Add sugar for a sweet afternoon break, ideally shared with your best tea friends. And it has green tea and spearmint. Low caffeine. <clears throat> And then there's this little bag. Let's see what's in here. I like the little bag. It would be good if I take the label off, which you can just peel off, to put stitch, stitch markers in that I make. Stitch marker. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. Oh, this is fantastic. Yay. One, two, three. Four. I'm really excited about this. Five, six. These are bags that you put your own loose leaf tea in. Hooray! Because if you follow my squeal and squirrel mail, yesterday I got a bag of tea from Miss Froggy when a knitting. And I said at the time I didn't have a tea infuser. So, we have bags now. I wonder though, I bet though, I bet all of these are loose leaf teas, so I need the bags for these. Oh well, <laughs> it was a thought. I just need to get an infuser, and we have a tea uh, shop now, which is this, it's called Tea Exchange, I think, which is the same place that my daughter got a bunch of teas. Hannah Banana. I think Lindsay got a few things, too. I don't know if I show, showed y'all my mints from there. They are really good. Really, really good and give you the same benefits as... I'll have to bring it. i have to bring that today and show you, too. to remember... Oh, they're in my purse. I started to say if I could find them. Thank you, Kim! Crafty Nomad. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Forgive me for thinking I was going to use it. I don't know why. I just thought those were in bags and then I felt it. It's loose leaf. So. But how cool. I love it. Love it. Love it. I may start getting that subscription box one of these days. There. Don't stick out. <laughs> My girls are at the park riding rides. Hannah's still home. But Lindsay and the girls and Lindsay's dad are at the park so i'm getting ready to go hang out with them a little while I'm gonna try to go ahead and get my reading in and um then go see them ride a little bit and then come back for my tea at three and then maybe go back because they'll probably be riding all day got the wristband thing we have a little week-long fair so we're coming to the end of it uh, it's been going on while we were in gatlinburg but i'm glad we got back in time so the girls could enjoy the little rides and um i have the best food in the park the barbecue the hot dogs the hamburgers all that stuff on the day of the fourth which might be on I'm not sure what all they're going to have going on tomorrow since it's Sunday. I know they postponed the parade since the parade starts at 10 o'clock. Um, excuse me. They postponed that till Monday morning. <laughs> all kinds of stuff in my hair. Anyway, um, so... Not sure if they'll still have foods and rides tomorrow or not, but whatever. If they don't, then they will still on the 5th, but I'm not sure. I thought I had them talked in to stay until the 6th, but they got to get back, Lynn's and the girls, because they're going on a trip out west again. I'm not sure if it was last year or the year before when they went out and did Grand Canyon and a whole bunch of stuff. This year, they're going up to Wyoming. And probably some stuff on the way. Think they're doing Rushmore, Old Faithful, you know, Yellowstone Park stuff. And I know they're doing, um, I may have mentioned this to y'all already, but 
like a cowboy chuck wagon thing where they ride horses or either a stagecoach I forget which it might be two different things but then they come back and they get fed by the chuck wagon and they sit around the campfire and tell stories not they just have some really neat things set up for you know themselves and the girl the whole family but the girls are gonna love it they're eight and ages are eight and thirteen soon to be nine and fourteen okie dokie well i'll be back in just a second to read start reading on the next chapter of rose and bloom love y'all thanks again kim Love it, love it, love it. Bye-bye.